Welcome to part two of the dollar store haul. In this bag, I have the other half of stuff that I found at the dollar store. And this week, despite my little under the weather situation I have going on, I'm gonna walk you around the house and show you all of the great uses for the things I have in this bag from the dollar store. Let's go. And before we open the swag bag, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel if you haven't done so already. I saw this hanger and I had a great use for it in my basement. There are times where I don't want to use my dryer because, you know, I'm hanging most of my stuff to dry. There's only a few items, typically socks and undershirts, that need to go into the dryer. So rather than wasting the heat and the energy, pick up one of these instead and I can just clip my socks or undershirts or anything that I'm not hanging to dry otherwise. On this, it'll dry quickly and that way I can save myself a load. I always love when I find copycat products at the dollar store and this is no exception. These are travel tubes. They're reusable and they're carry-on approved. Chad and I went to a big box store, big box store, and paid, I don't know, five, six, seven times the amount we actually paid for these at the dollar store a couple of years ago, and they're literally the exact same. They have the plunger on the back, which makes them great for hanging up in a shower, uh, and they have a really powerful, strong nozzle on the bottom, which makes them great not only for body wash or shampoo, but also, in Chad's case, really great for transporting contact liquid, because the smaller bottles actually don't let you pop the head off and refill them. We have a lot of scarves at the CMS HQ, and I can tell you from 33 years of experience, they're painful to hang up and organize. So that's why we picked up this cute little closet organizer. We're using it to hang Chad's scarf. Cute little closet organizer specifically designed to hang scarves. It's in the shape of a flower. It is purple as you can see. It's a great thing to have around the house, fall, spring, and winter. I picked up this household staple, and yeah, I was running out of it, but there are also so many other great uses for cling film. I thought I would just share a couple with you. First of all, if you're a banana fan like I am, you can wrap some cling film on the top of your bananas. That way, it'll prevent them from browning quicker. So you do this, it keeps them fresher longer. Another Elmer's product was in the bag, and it is this freestyle repositionable press-on light. These are so handy to have around the house, especially in areas where you would never think to illuminate like inside your closet. Case in point, when we get home and it's dark and we need to put stuff away or vice versa, if it's super early in the morning and it's still dark out, having a little light in the cupboard actually makes a lot of sense. And these are great because they're repositionable. So if you don't stick them exactly where you need them, you can always lift them back up and put them where they belong. There's only one good reason to have a flower pot in the bathroom and that is to keep your plunger. It keeps crap off your floor, literally. I've probably talked about these bags in, I don't know, 40 of our videos, but for good reason, they serve a lot of purposes. And rather than using this for laundry, I'm going to use this for the dishwasher, specifically for dishwashing all of those smaller kitchen items that will sometimes fall through the top rack of the dishwasher. These bags are dishwasher safe, so load them up, no pun intended, with any of those smaller kitchen utensils, throw it in the top rack, and you're good to go. All right, it was worth coming outside and being cold and squinty to show you this $3 trunk organizer. As you can see, my trunk, I know, my trunk needs a little bit of help. So this trunk organizer has three sections. It can even hold 33 pounds of weight, so you could use it to bring in groceries, although, I don't know if I would necessarily trust it to do that. I'm gonna use it just to keep everything back here nice and organized. In this house, we love a good command hook. In fact, we picked three up at the dollar store. These are great because you can hang them anywhere you need extra storage and then quickly pull off the adhesive afterward without leaving any damage to the surface behind. Holy cannoli, literally holy, we made it to the end of our dollar store haul. That's right, two videos down, a big old haul from the dollar store. And I would love to know where else should we do haul videos at? Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna know what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from shopping, even though you will probably see me at a mall somewhere, I am at Melissa Maker on Instagram. The guy who raised his eyebrow every now and then when I put something in the cart, he is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe 
and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time in the video where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. The first one is the first half of this dollar store haul. Check that one out. And if you love all things products and housewares and are willing to spend a little bit more than a dollar, you should check out our video that we just shot at the 2016 International Home and Houseware Show in Chicago. Check that out. And if you haven't done so already, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. There are buttons all over the place that you can click to make that happen. Thanks guys, see you next week.